good uh, good evening everybody hello teacher good evening good evening how are you jose so far so good today is m last meeting sorry today is what did you say no 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 but no, I, I, I didn't I didn't hear what you said. Today is what? Is M M like Monday, but M like meeting. Oh okay, okay, got it. Okay. So was it a good day then? Yeah, a lot of meeting today. Mm -hmm. Okay, I see. So you barely worked only meetings. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Most likely, all of the Monday in the uh, more during the morning, I have a lot of men. Really? No idea. Mm -hmm. Wow. Are you in the same account that? Um... No, I no? was promoted. You were what? I was promoted. Oh, you were promoted. Yep. Oh, wow. Well, congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, excellent. Good for you. Very good. Yeah, when was that? Uh, now I'm part of WFM group. Mm -hmm. So. Mm. Oh, wow, that's great. Yeah, that's right. So now I have a lot of uh, things to do. Lots of like responsibility. <laughs> yeah, more responsibility. Yeah. But a lot of things to do is uh, workforce management. So that's mean that you have to collect, you have to gather in a lot of information. Then you have to, uh, um, you have to explain that information to the main client. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Good, good. Well, that's excellent. I'm glad you, um, well, you're, you're enjoying yourself. That you have, uh, you know, new challenges means that you can grow as a person too, right? Yeah, that's right. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. yeah, I guess that is the main. Yeah, exactly. You know, if you can grow as a person, it doesn't matter the challenges. You know, they, they're they're welcome. <laughs> Yeah, right. That's right. Yeah. But you know, the life is like it, it, yes. we need to achieve all its goals. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I get it. I understand. Yeah, that's good, though. That's very good. Hello, Dora. Hello, teacher. How are you? I'm fine. Yeah? You Yes, you look different. <laughs> oh, or your hair. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I I straightened my hair. Well, actually, I didn't straighten it. I just blow dried it straight. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. Um, how was your weekend? Oh, uh, just only in the house. Really? Make, just make a. Uh, making the home uh, clean housework. Housework, yes. Housework, yeah. Mm -hmm. Housework. Mm -hmm. I see. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, uh, but um, not too stressful. I hope. No. No. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Good. Excellent. Very good. Very good. Um, and so you didn't go out, you, you didn't go shopping or something like uh, that? I went to the market and supermarket mm -hmm. and I cut the, my lunch and then I watched, I watched the uh, films on TV. You, you watched what? Films. Oh, films. Okay. Okay. Nice. Nice. Okay. Um. Do you live alone? Yes, I live alone. Ah. Okay. Okay. 
So mm -hmm. you have nice peace and quiet at home. Uh, yes, but uh, mm -hmm. I sometimes am missing my my daughter or my ne or my grandson. Mm. But, I, uh, I try to uh, uh, talk with them on mm. weekend. Mm. Mm. Good, good, good. That's excellent. Yeah, yeah. I try. Yeah, it's it's good to be close to the family. You know. Yes. Mm -hmm. That's good. That's good. Hello, Eliana. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Uh, enjoy your food. Thank you. Mm -hmm. are, these are cookies. Oh, are they're cookies. Favorite, actually, yeah. Mm, I like cookies. Well, what kind of cookies like, are they? Mm, like milk cookies, milk cookies. Milk cookies. Cookies. Mm, nice, nice. But without sugar and... Not, not topping, just oh, the cookie wow. with milk. Mm -hmm. Oh, you mean? Like, um, I don't know, when when somebody said like the, the recipe, that's milk. But it's not like, I don't know how to call these cookies, but I don't know, do you, do you understand me? <laughs> but my idea is like, Mm, taste like milk. I don't know. I love milk. <laughs> okay. Milk, milk cookies. Milk like okay. milk cookies. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> Interesting. All right. All right. But they're good. <laughs> That's <important>. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Okay. Sounds good. Sounds good. Excellent. Okay. Very good. Hello, William. Hi, good evening. Good evening. How are you? I'm good, teacher. Yeah? Good. Excellent. Yeah. Glad to hear that. How was your day? Uh, it was easy. Easy day. Really? Relaxed day. Yeah. Nice. Nice. I'm glad to hear that. And uh, yeah. And your weekend? Relaxed, too. Relax. I too? spend a lot of time. Yeah, mm, taking a, a lot of naps. Yeah. Mm, okay. Yeah, that's that's nice. It's always nice to be able to take yeah. a little bit of naps. Yeah. yeah. That's good. I'm glad to hear that. Good. Good. Um. All right. Excellent. Uh, I see many faces, but I don't. Can't. I better said I see many, many names but i don't see faces ah there they are okay hello juan miguel hi teacher hi guys good evening good evening how how was your day today uh kind of busy and tired mm, really mm -hmm. oh why why yeah. was it why was it tiring oh uh, Last, last time I told you that in this week I have to travel to Panama. Oh, yeah, yeah so, that's right. Mm -hmm. So we take the flag at nah, we arrive we we arrive to the airport around 3 a.m. and the flight uh, around 5 a.m. Oh. And we arrive here at Panama around 8 a.m. No, yeah, 8 a.m. Yeah. And it was kind of tired because I have not slept well mm. since yesterday. But uh, in general, it was a good day because we started today with the with the master. And this, it's 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 good. It's a new experience. Yeah. Mm, good. I'm glad to hear that. Yeah, I actually had you in mind 
um, last week, I was I was going to ask you about that, then I forgot. Um, so you don't have any any problem. You're not having any problems uh, with connecting at this time. Like, there's no 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 workshops or anything at that at this no, time. No, not because the the classes uh, ends at uh, here. Just let me check something. Mm -hmm. There are here. It's uh, nine and fifteen p.m. Nine fifteen p.m. Ah. So, uh -huh, so uh, the class ends at eight p.m. From ah. here at seven p.m. From seven. Salvador. Uh -huh. I get it. So we. It's perfect. Travel travel from the from the facilities to to this Airbnb and we are mm -hmm. here. Mm -hmm. Okay, excellent. Are you um right in Panama City? In Balboa, Balboa City. Oh okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, nice, nice. All right. That's good. I'm I'm glad you're are you enjoying yeah. yourself? Yes, yes. Yeah. Enjoy. yeah. Oh, good, good. I'm glad to hear that. Excellent. Okay, good. All right. Well, I hope everything goes well for you this week. Okay, thank you. Yeah, thank you. yeah. All right. Hello, Ana Claudia. Your microphone is off. Okay. I'm sorry, my microphone. Oh, it's okay. <laughs> I was leaking. It. <laughs> Hi, Tiki, okay. how are you? Good, good. How are you? Uh, it's hot here in my town. I remember that my room, my bedroom is kind of hot because uh, it's concrete, the roof, but something we need to deal with. Mm -hmm. and yeah. I just can imagine how it's going to be on Holy Week, but uh, I better don't imagine <laughs> Uh -huh. But beside that, so good so far. Hmm. So everything is okay. Good, good, good. Yeah, yeah. You always make me jealous. <laughs> I'm sorry, and I would like to have at least one day in the time so you were. <laughs> no, actually, I I'm actually I can't complain. Um. Yesterday was a good day. Yesterday was wow. sunny. It was a sunny day, and it was not. It was not cold. Um, not rainy. No, not rainy at all. To get just to give you an uh, an idea, right now, uh, I have my window open. So, oh, that's cool. Yeah, and it's I mean, five a.m. Right, five five. It's something. five a.m. Yeah, it's it's a little chilly just right now with the window open it's just a little bit not 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 much yeah I and i don't see you have like a call where you are uh, yeah i i i will be later <laughs> i have it here just in case <laughs> <laughs> yes yeah. because the thing is that right now because um you know i just got out of bed i'm still warm then like around in about an hour I start getting cold because oh. you know my, my body starts to cool down yeah, yeah. so that that's a, that's the thing so yeah that's why I always have it near <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. for you is the day is started right so since uh, right now you continue with your activities mm -hmm. yeah yeah exactly exactly yeah. Okay. Yeah. So. Then I guess because of the time you must wake up, I guess you sleep early, right? No. Mm. Kind of. <laughs> you try, but it's not true. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't work. Like it's like for example, yes. And the thing is that here, like, eh, everything starts late. Like you don't. It's not like in Latin America where everything. Uh, all the movement starts at six o'clock right like you know big movement even before then sometimes um no over here it's like um things start to move get moody moving around eight or nine nine mostly 
so it's yeah so everything is like really really slow and and but at nighttime it it um it, everything is it's yes yeah, it starts closing like late like yesterday uh we went out for dinner with with some friends um and we were coming back at 12 <laughs> and every it was yeah. Everything was still buzzing. Like there were still shops, uh, stores that were closing at that time. I just can imagine. Well, yeah. Cool. Well, yeah. one more day in your yeah. new country. <laughs> yeah, yeah, for the time being. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Um. Hello, Heidi. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. How was your weekend? I work on Saturday and Sunday too. What? Why? <laughs> because we were in a dress rehearsal. We wow. found out a new studio. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. I'm sorry to hear that. <laughs> so <Me> you really <laughs> So you you really didn't have a a weekend. No, mm, I'm sorry. Really? Yeah, it's going to be a long week. Mm, yeah, I can hear you. Yeah. Well, the good thing, Heidi, is that this week, um, a, we well we finished this module, right? So, um, if I'm not mistaken, you're looking you're gonna have a Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday off. Right? Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. I think. So, I think. I'm not sure. And tomorrow? Yeah. So, tomorrow we stop. Oh, really? We oh. stop class tomorrow. I think. Uh, have they told you guys anything? Or no? No. But I remember. Yeah. Uh, like, they, they haven't told you when the next one starts? Mm. Let me see. No, teacher. In my case, they just wrote me uh, to remember that the the company needs to send the papers. That mm. the deadline I remember that was the last Friday. Right. Mm -hmm. But at uh, like a like a day to the next model. No. Okay. So that per, that means if they haven't given you a date, a starting date, means that not all of the paperwork is in. There are probably some people that still haven't put their paperwork in. And um they're trying to they're still trying to fill the those those um eh, those spaces and that so that means that you're definitely not starting this week. Um, so yeah, most most definitely you're gonna be having at least Wednesday, Thursday, Friday off. Mm -hmm. So so Heidi, at least you can look forward to that. Yeah. So that it doesn't look beautiful. Oh you're thank you. Yeah, I yeah. I've been I've been told my I, I change a lot with my hair. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Just uh, I like I like to ch I like change. Yeah, I like change a lot. I've actually you look done. Oh, you look thank you. <laughs> thank you. Thank if you. If you do it too much, your hair gets gets. Uh, how do you say dry? Dry. Yeah, the dry. Dry. Yeah, uh, the ends get dried. Mm -hmm. The ends get dried. Is yeah, good. yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you're right. No, I I don't um, I I don't do this often. Like I do it maybe once, um, every six weeks, something mm -hmm. like that. So yeah, I don't I don't do I don't like to do it very often, because yes, I especially because my hair is very processed. You know, I since I have to like I'm I'm coloring my hair all the time. Um so I I try not to damage it so so much. And mm -hmm. I have never colored hair, you know. 
Really? Completely virgin mm -hmm. hair. Wow. <laughs> nice, nice. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah, well, How do you, you say know. Canas? What? How do you say canas? Gray hair. Gray hair. Mm -hmm. well, See, that's, that's the thing. When I get gray hair, I will. Mm, I've gotten, see, that's one of the reasons why I dye my hair because mm -hmm. I I have gray hair since I was 20. We yeah. cannot imagine the teacher with gray hair. <laughs> no, me neither. Mm -hmm. I have a lot of that. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I've, I've had gray hair since I was 20 because uh, I have very bad genes for that. My my mother started when she was 30. She started to have gray hair. And my father, when he was 17. Mm, so, seven. wow. yeah, yeah. So, yeah, I, since I was 20, I, I have gray hair. But my gray hair is just in the front. It's just this part right here. Everything else is okay. It's just this part right here. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know why. I have no idea why. So um yeah, that's why I I always um dye my hair. Mm -hmm. Because otherwise it would it would look strange because it's especially because it's only from the front. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> Ooh. anyway all right guys i'm going to start with our attendance um just give me a moment so Ana Claudia, you can't imagine me with gray hair no <laughs> i cannot imagine you <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. It's yeah. because you're always red, right? Well, not I mean, you've known me as a redhead, uh -huh. but I've I've done I've done every color. I've oh, really? uh, yeah, yeah. I've I've done uh, I've done um bluish bluish um black. Did you try all those fantasy colors like pink? So, no, 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 no. Like just normal colors. Oh, like, okay. yeah, just like the, you know, the average colors that you, ah, okay. Okay. the, that you, um, so, um, I've done, but there was a time, there was a time when I used to dye my hair, like they used to mix, mm -hmm. you know, the, the, um, you know, you know, the colors that the, the punks, uh use the red and the purple <laughs> yeah so they would mix the two the uh -huh. the the two colors together and that's the color that i would get so it would it would it was like a mm, kind of like a mahogany do you color it by yourself i mean no or no, no you no, always no. look i guess when you're going to move from one country to another the first thing you're looking for what is the nearest <laughs> I, I actually went this weekend um but i'm not convinced i'm not convinced because they did my roots but it's it's it didn't really cover it so i'm not sure if i'm gonna go back but there where you are they use a lot of natural colors a yeah, lot that's, of ah. that's the problem and that's, Gina also. Gina, I guess, is the name. You can tell it in Spanish, in English. Hena. They oh, are the developers for... Hena. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's the problem. That it, because it's so natural, it doesn't cover the gray hair. That's right. That's right. That's, that's exactly right. the problem. Mm -hmm. So, um, so yeah, I I I I'm not sure. I'm not sure exactly what I'm gonna do if I'm gonna go to the same place and maybe ask her to use a different color, or or leave it for more time, or I'm gonna go to a completely different place. That's but fair. it's but it's cheaper. I can tell you that much. It's much cheaper. It's like half the price in, than in El Salvador. Can we know how much it should be? 
Um, well, like around in, more than twenty five dollars or less than twenty five dollars. Less than twenty five dollars. With uh, just a touch, I just did a, a, a um, just touching the roots. Like ah, I didn't, okay. I didn't do the whole hair. Okay, ah, it's just okay. just my roots. Okay? Ah, my, okay, my roots and the blow drying cost me about uh about ten dollars and fifty cents. Oh, that's good. Mm, good for you. Yeah, yeah. Mm. So, yeah. yeah. And it's a house hair salon. I mean, it's, I'm not doing it by myself. Mm -hmm. Wow. Okay. Good. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> okay. So here I have the attendance guys. Um, Anna Claudia. Present teacher. All right. David. Present teacher. All right. Okay. Um, Dora. Present. Fernando Ernesto. Present. Okay. Uh, Fernando Eduardo. Fernando Eduardo. Uh, Francisco. Present teacher. Excellent. Um, are you at work, Francisco? No, right? Your, your microphone is off. Sorry, teacher. Uh, it's okay. uh, I'm going to work. Ah, uh, okay, yeah, because I that's why I was asking you because I remember you were saying that you were going to be starting work, um, and at night. yeah, at night, and and um, so that's why I was asking you, yeah, okay, great, thank you. Um, Heidi, 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 Heidi. I guess she has something to do. Ileana? Present teacher. Okay. Uh, Harvey? Present teacher. Wonderful. Jose Marcos? Present. Present. Uh, Jose Osmin? Jose Osmin? Uh, Jose Wilfredo? Present teacher. Great. Uh, Juan Miguel. Juan Miguel. No. Okay. Something happened there. Okay. Um, Juan Ram uh, sorry, Ramon Enrique. Um, Roberto Luis, Roxana. Present. All right. Thank you, Roxana, for connecting. Thank you. Uh, William. Present. Great, Suleyma. Thank you, Heidi. And uh, Wendy. Present teacher, good evening. Good evening, Wendy. And Wilfredo. Okay. All right, guys. Uh, so we're going to start. Um, please tell me if you can see my PowerPoint. Yes. No, maybe. Yes, teacher, we can see it. Yeah. yeah. Hold on. Give me a second, guys. Six. Yeah. All right. Um. So the day is the day number twenty-four. The date is Monday, March six, two thousand twenty-three, and facilitator is Jessica Guerrero. Okay. So, a uh, on Friday, we were looking at this vocabulary. Um, and you guys told me that you needed like five minutes, right? More to finish. Is that correct? Yes, no. You need that. You guys need five more minutes to finish up 
um, the um, getting the the meaning of these words, or do you need more time? We were commenting the the definition, but uh, I think we need some minutes more to um, make a good understanding of them. Okay. Um. All right. So let's. Okay, let me, let me see. Okay, so in the first, okay, so in the first room I had Dora and Wendy and William. How much time, more time do you guys need? Dora, Wendy, William, how much more time do you need? Five minutes. Five minutes, I think. okay. Okay, all right, perfect. Um, all right, and second room, I have David, Harvin, and Juan Miguel. How much more time do you guys need? I think about 10, teacher. About 10? Yes. Okay. Um, all right. Um, in, in room number three, I have Ana Claudia, Fernando Ernesto, and Jose Marcos. How much time do you need? Uh, it will be okay between five and 10 minutes. Okay. All right. And uh, the last group I have Fernando, Marvin, um, Francisco. Uh, Iliana and Jose Osmin. How much time do you guys need? Maybe five, seven minutes, maybe. Okay. All right. Okay. So, um, and then I have Heidi, Jose, Wilfredo, and Roxana. The, if I'm not mistaken, we're not here at the end of the class. Yes, the last on Friday, right? Am I correct? Right, future. Right, right, okay, teacher. perfect. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to assign you guys to a new room um, with some to work with another group. Well, uh, in my case, teacher, I'm driving now, and I think that the I I okay. can help a lot. I get it. I get it. No problem. No problem. I'll just move you to another group then so, simply because I don't want to leave you. Or do you want to, do you want to just stay in the, you can also stay in the main room too. Okay. You know, so yeah. Okay. All right, guys. So I'm going to give you, I'm going to give you um, eight minutes. If you guys need more time, then I'll leave the, the rooms open. Okay. Sounds good, everybody. Here we go. Thanks for Dora? Dora, are you having problems connecting? Okay. 
Hello, Fernanda Marvin. Good evening. Good evening. Um, so right now we are uh, going into the groups that we had on Friday. So I'm going to um, take it to your group. Okay. Okay. Do it. All right. There are many uh, contexts. Uh -huh. okay. We 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 uh, show two con no, three concepts. Mm -hmm. Dora Dora sent two and I sent one concept. But I don't know what is the correct. Uh, can you share now? Okay. You, we can do it now? Yeah. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Here is the silo definitions. I will put in the chat. Only the first part that is the definition, the other part is this is a silo is a, a isolated point in a system. Data is kept segregated. Ya sea porque así se quiso hacer o porque accidentalmente quedó ahí, ¿verdad? <risa> sí, pero lo ideal es que intencionalmente, como un backup yeah. de otra parte de la información de la organización y de la arquitectura de comunicación y tecnología. That is the definition for silo. Okay. It's an isolated IT point. It's isolated from all the architecture for all the information. On purpose or accidentally? On purpose or an accidentally, yes. Uh -huh. Yes, I remember we were talking about on Friday. Okay, there are some, some information is okay. I have some problem of this when I am working in with my students. I, I have in the platform. I have points for every class. And sometimes I need uh, one information for another class. And uh, I don't have a general channel. The manager of the system, maybe, but I don't have. And uh, I need to share again with another team. And the system tell me, Okay, we have a copy of that. We need you need another copy, and I need to put yes. The they are in a in a silo. Eighth grade has a a silo only for that grade. If I need a copy of the information that I put to them, I need okay. to make an extra copy. And there is the 
what they are saying in the first part, different business division okay. will create more to uh -huh. cope the same data. If we are using cycles. But for security purpose, maybe it is important. Uh, even with the resource, make uh, multiple copies. But it needs to be one official copy. <laughs> but this copy is different than that we make in the cloud, right? In the, in the is story? In your computer. Ah, yes. Yes, because there is in a in a cloud point. Some mm -hmm. some part in the cloud they are or oh, oh, in the IT ICT hardware or ICT architecture. I don't know if they are not connected. I don't see it. It's if they can connect it only internally. Maybe, mm -hmm. but in that case, needs to be a server, a special server of the company, or not in your computer, like you say. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. How okay. are you guys doing with the time? Do you need more time, or no, teacher? We are ready. Okay, wonderful. Um, I'll see how the other groups are doing. Okay. Okay. Well, how do we... Hi guys, um, are you finished? Yes, teacher, but only is the talking about the, the concept. Yeah. Um, Ah, okay. Yeah, are you guys finished? Yes. Okay, because you um you you need to like everybody needs to make sure that they understand the concept. So you guys are finished? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, perfect. All right. I can find the cloud computer. But now the rest of the workforce you I the, guess the workforce is easy for. Hi guys. Hi. Just wondering Hi. how are you guys doing? Are we finished? Yes, we understood the concept. Wonderful. <laughs> okay. explain it very well. Okay, wonderful. I'll <laughs> see you guys in the main room in a moment. Okay. So cloud computer is kept segregated on purpose or actually accidentally from other parts of an organization's information and communication technology architecture. Hi guys, um, are we ready? Mm, we're ready? Yeah, I think that we're ready. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, perfect. I'll see you in the main room. Okay. Hello, Juan Miguel. Hi, teacher. Hi. You um, do you have problems with the? Yeah. Uh, no, no problem with the internet. I had to move to go outside and buy some things. Yeah. Mm, okay. 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 Bye bye. Right. I, I'm I'm here now. Okay, great, no problem. We're just we were just going back to our groups to discuss um the the vocabulary that we saw on Friday. Okay. When Miguel was with us and uh, uh, we need you to... needed him. Uh, it's, we work together and we have four points 
And Jarvin was talking about two points, and I think Jarvin was need to talk about only one, and then Juan Miguel need to talk about the other one, and then Wilfredo from the other, and me the last one. Mm -hmm. Okay. I think. Okay. Uh, Juan Miguel, are, do you agree with that? Okay, I, I can hear you. Just let me check the hour. So you repeat me, please? David, can you repeat what you said? Yes. Uh, Jarvin, I don't know if Jarvin is listening to me. Jarvin, we were talking about big data. Uh, Juan Miguel about cloud computing. Uh, Wilfredo about remote workforce. And I was talking, I will be talking about silence. Okay. Yes. So. Okay. Yeah. Well, oh. you agree? Juan Miguel. Yeah, yeah, could be. Okay. 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 Okay, so we're gonna start with the first group. Um which is let me see, let me see. Group number one is um oh, okay. um Wendy William and that's it. Solo que me sale. Somebody, I think somebody left. When, Wendy William and Dora teacher is Dora here? Yes. Dora. No, I think she probably had a problem because she's not here right now. Okay, let's do something then. Um, we'll we'll wait for her to come back. Maybe she had like some sort of problem, and we'll go to the group number two then, and we'll, so that we can wait for her. Okay. Okay. All right. Okay, so, teacher. okay. So, group number two is David, Harvin, Jose, Wilfredo, and Juan Miguel. Okay, teaching. Uh, I only put the the image to get the order of the and uh, Yarvin we will be talking about big data. Please, Yarvin, okay. go ahead. Okay. Hello, everyone. I will talk a little bit about big data. Big data refers to the large or diverse set of information to run to what even increased rate. This is mean that we is talking about the all the information that we have in the in the how the the system processes the big information that we can put into the our computer. This is a simple word that the, what is mean big data. Data. Sorry. Okay. Juan Miguel. Okay, the second one is about cloud computing. In cloud computing, we could understand this uh, like the way, um, yeah, maybe the way that we process the data, uh, but uh, using uh, all the devices or all the components which who are part of a big network, yeah, but not, uh, not in a local environment, yeah. We are talking about servers or services on demand that, that they are uh, placed over the internet, yeah, in order to uh, manage your data, is, is store, uh, recover the, da the data, and obviously process, yeah, uh, but um, the, um, like, oh, sorry, sorry. When we are talking about cloud computing, we are talking about processing of the data, but using uh, resources on the internet, yeah, not locally or not hosted locally. Yeah, that could be a, 
a definition in simple words, maybe. Okay, excellent. Thank you. Wilfredo, please. The next one. Okay, cool. I will continue with a remote workforce definition of remote workforce definition refers to employees in our organization who typically perform their responsibilities off-site from a different location than the traditional office. It's like me that I work from home and then I have to connect my computer to one VPN to access or to have access at the completely tools that I need to to do my task. Excellent. And the last word was silo. A silo is an isolated isolated point in a system where a data is kept uh, apart from segregated from the rest of information. Maybe it could be done in on purpose or maybe accidentally. And the second point is obviously it's a mistake and uh, there are some problems like the problems uh, with uh, uh, multiple copies of the same data or the employees will make decisions on inconsistent or incomplete data and all of that uh, uh, things of information. And uh, a silo is a part that is a, or a point that is a, a part of the others and not disconnected to the technology or the architecture of the ICP. And no one can access only the people who put them in that part. I was talking about my students. Uh, in the platform, I have a point for every class, a point for eighth grade, a point for ninth grade, a point for tenth grade, and so on. And is I if I put uh, some information in one point, uh, for example, eighth grade, and I need that information in in seventh grade or in the uh, uh, ninth grade or in eleventh grade, I need to make a copy because uh, the other people can access the this information. And the system asked me, you want to make a copy because you are, you have a copy. And I need to say, yes, I need another copy. And that is one of the difficulties on a, a, using a silo. But sometimes it's for security reasons and it is important to have it. That's all teaching. Thank you. Okay, I continue talking. <laughs> there we go. Sorry, guys, I was having problems with. There we go. Okay, all right. Thank you very much, guys. Thank you. Excellent. Bravo, bravo. All right. Um, is Dora back? Oh, yes, she is. Okay, wonderful. So we'll go now to our group number one, which is uh, Wendy, William, and Dora. Okay. Okay, the first concept is uh, big data. The definition of big data is the data that contains great, greater battery arriving in increasing volumes and with more ve velocity. This is also known as the 3PS. Um, big data is lar larger, more complex data sets, especially from new data sources. These uh, data sets are also so voluminous that traditional data processing software, software just can manage them, but there's massive, massive volumes of data can be used to address business problems you wouldn't have been able to struggle before. And the three BS of big data is the volume, uh, velocity, and variety. The volume, for example, is the amount of data matters. 
with the big data, you you will have to process high volumes of low density in structured data. And this can be data of unknown values, such as, uh, for example, Twitter data, feeds, clicks, streams on a web page or a mobile app or sensor enabled equipment. For some organization, this might be claims of terabytes or of data. For others, it may maybe hundreds of petabytes. And the velocity is the the fast rate at which data is received and perhaps acted on. Normally, the highest velocity of data stream directly into memory versus being right into disk. And the variety uh, refers to the many types of data that are available. Traditional data types were structured and, and feed nearly in a relational database. And with the rise of big data, data comes in new and structured data types. Unstructured and some structured data types such as text, audio, and video requires required additional uh, reprocessing, reprocessing to the der real meaning and support metadata. Please continue, Dora. Okay, uh, talking about the concept silos. I found the concept in silos in business. Was when a company has group of experts separated for department, specialization, or location, or a very common approach. In, for example, in a big companies in El Salvador, there are a department for marketing, uh, sales, resource, human resource, and a contact, uh, anything. Uh, the concept about silos in business. When okay, is... okay. I, I continue that uh, the concept remote work. In the concept, it uh, says the practice of employees doing their job for location other than the central office operate, operating the employee. And, uh, the remote work is a type to, of flexible working uh, that employee to work from remote location uh, outside of corporate office for example, in, in her house or, or other, other uh, places. Uh, the benefits for the company include increased employee satisfaction, satisfaction and retention the, the employees. In, and uh, the remote work require uh, the policies governing the equipment use, network security, and, uh, and good internet too. Uh, this is uh, uh, the concept to remote work. And it's all teacher. Okay, very good, bravo, excellent. Okay, um, Thank just, you. Just, um, just wanted to mention because I know some of the, the other groups are gonna come up that um, I know this one, this word um, is a little, uh, you can get confused, uh, you know, with this word because it sounds a little like in Spanish. How do, um, but we pronounce it silos, silos. Silos. Yeah, that's right. All right, guys, um, next groups would be Ana Claudia, Fernando Ernesto, and Jose Marcos. Yes, teacher. Okay. 
Uh, okay, big data. Big data is a term used to describe a collection of data that is used, used in size and yet growing exponentially with the time. Uh, big data is when you uh, get a lot of data from different sources and maybe process that that data for making reports or making choices that maybe that is in summary the, when the, the, the concept of big data. And the other was silos, this <laughs> you mentioned. Okay. Silos, uh, and silos we, we can have thought maybe point of view about this concept because we have a silos in, in a, and then in job environment, uh, maybe that is a, a group of people working. They have the same role, but they are working in a different project, for example. That is maybe in a silo, but if you, uh, you are talking an IT, uh, a silo maybe is a, a kind of, of a storage. Is when you say maybe different data. Uh, it's like a database, re relational database that you have some tables, you have some entities, and you save the, the data in that database. In, in, in summary, that is a that is the point of view that we were talking about in, about, about silos. Mm -hmm. And also, uh, you know, uh, as uh, Fernando is, uh, knows a lot, of, a, a lot of, about these topics, uh, he was explaining to me that uh, regarding to my job, for example, I use a, a, a database uh, when I, because I contact customers, right? But whenever I save information, telephones, et cetera, that information is saved in a, in a, a, in a big data. It's like another physical storage because I, I was confused. I thought that that was the same as a server and he explaining that, no, it's not the same. And the other concept is uh, the remote, uh, the I'm sorry, the remote workforce. A workforce uh, is people available to work physically in an office, but remote work, remote workforce is people available to work whenever they are. It's not almost only subject to work from home. Could be either here uh, we can talk about the nomadas data i guess is that is i don't remember the name that i found nomadas nomadas data people who is uh, working and connecting from wherever they are any place in the world once they hook up to the uh, vpn or location and they can work that's a remote workforce anytime anywhere digital nomads Digital nomads, I'm sorry, that is the word. <laughs> Digital nomads, they can also work. And I was telling you that I read something about that in Spain, they are giving like some kind of permissions to work for digital nomads because they want to promote this type of, let's say a kind of tourism for Spain. Mm -hmm. And the last one is for Jose Ramon. Okay, cloud computing is the access to services and resources in, in the cloud through the connectivity, connectivity to it in a big scale in the internet. So the importance of cloud computing is the easy access. If we have access to internet, we can manage our service and files in any location we are at. Um, this is a key point for the small business, because they have the possibility to try advanced technology in a scalable manner, because they pay only for the servers they need without develop their own networks or their own services. They only pay for the the tools and service they need. They not, they don't have to pay for a full package that is very expensive. So the cloud computing is the access to this services and, and the easy access to the to the cloud. That's all to Okay, thank you very much, Renner. Oh, that's excellent. 
Okay, and finally we have the last group, which is Fernando Marvin, Francisco, and Heidi Liana. Okay, sure. I think that Francisco is on his way to, to his work. Mm. So, mm -hmm. okay. And Fernando Marvin, I think that that. I remember, I think that he wrote in the chat that he was kind of busy, I think. But it's no problem, teacher. We, uh, we were working with Fernando Marvin and he, he participated. And Francisco too. But okay. sadly, they are not available right now, but we can explain the definitions with Heidi. Wonderful. Mm -hmm. Heidi, if you want to start with the first one. Okay, hold a second. Heidi, are you there? I think she's gone, right? I heard her say. Wait a sec. No, okay. she's there. She's there. Okay. She's there. Yeah. She's. But I can start the trip and she can continue with the okay. rest. Okay. All right. Sounds good. Hello. Hello. I'm sorry. I went okay. out by mistake. It's okay, hey. Okay, go on. Okay, the first one is big data, isn't it? Yeah. Big data, I understood that these are big sources of information or storage of information. Uh, we were saying that, uh, for example, so this can be the social, social media. Social media and also Netflix, right? Yeah, that collect um, a lot of data and grows like potentially with time. And when you can collect the data, you can analyze that data and you can use that information to make decisions. Mm -hmm. Exactly. And about cloud computer, uh, it is an storage of information that is not local. It's not on your personal computer. But in the cloud, when there, there, you have to save a lot of information, and instead of instead of, of making your equipment work slowlier, you you save or store uh, store your information in this cloud, which has the a big capacity to save it. An example of this could be, for example, a Google Documents or Google Docs that you can save a lot of a lot of information and you use uh, or through the internet, uh, the users of this platform, uh, for example, in business or in companies can be more productive because they can they have access to the information in any time, anywhere. Okay, the next is remote workforce. This basically consists um, um, an employee or a group of an employee or a group of employees uh, within an organization who primarily work not in the tradition traditional not in a traditional office. They work uh, off site. From a location that is different, that I said, different to the, to the, to the physical office, or basically, mm -hmm. or home office. I think that is a, a good word to use too. And the last word is silos. Silos. Uh, well, 
we understood that silos is an isolated part of something. If we relate that term to IOTs or, or in business, it is when you isolate a point in a system where data is kept uh, segregated on purpose or accidentally from the parts of the organizations uh, and into the organizations, uh, um, into the organizations of their ICT infra archi architecture. And I think that maybe an example of silo. Um, what we were we were looking like a, a good example, but I don't know if that the concept is kind of kind of weird, maybe. Uh, but yeah, that. Okay, so you girls finished. Mm -hmm. Okay, very good. Bravo. Excellent. Very good. All right. So how are you guys feeling with um with these uh definitions? Do you feel that you understand it? Um, or are you guys confused about it? I think that uh, we uh, understand at the at the basic concepts because understand the required uh, some technical formation, some technical education, but at the basic concepts maybe we have some knowledge. Mm -hmm. uh, maybe we can talk about, but uh, there is uh, some. Uh, general concepts that uh, we can say we know in general what that that is mm -hmm. i think okay. good yeah of course you're you're absolutely right you know you're not going to you're not experts on the topic I'm, you know and i don't expect you guys to be experts on the topic but um what i want to know is basically can you explain the concept to another person, uh, you know, what you understand, or are the concepts still fuzzy? Okay. So are we okay with them? Yes. Do we understand what they mean? Yes, yes. Yeah. Okay, yeah, so I know, I know David understands it. What about the rest of you? Yes, teacher. Yeah. Yes, teacher. Okay. I, I was talking with the 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 people in my group that mm -hmm. uh, when I do a quiz or a test in mm -hmm. a a platform like Kahoot or like quizzes or something like that. Mm -hmm. And uh, they give me a lot of information, very useful information, like uh, what was the question that uh, needed the most time for uh, all of the students, mm -hmm. how uh, every student, each student, uh, how they, uh, how many times or how much time, sorry, how much time they need for every questions. Uh, what was the question that have more uh, right answer? What was the question that have more wrong answers and a lot of information? And uh, obviously, if I need to, to keep this information in, in my hard drive or something like that, is a lot of space too mm -hmm. that is big data right and uh, but it's very useful and i need to see then let them in the cloud mm -hmm. that's a very good um uh, a very good example of uh big data right so um yeah it's 
sometimes it's uh you know even though our computers may have a lot of storage but we cannot um store everything so we need to have it in a cloud right okay and yes um it, and and speaking of which remember it's data right i know that that it's one of those words that can also be confused in spanish right um but it's data not data mm -hmm. okay. yeah no no but you you did it correctly david i'm just i'm just uh reminding everybody in general okay all right um yeah very good excellent that's exactly what big data is um all right. Okay, guys. Um, excellent. Now, um, speaking of vocabulary, we still have more vocabulary to um, check out. Um, please tell me if you can see my PowerPoint. Yes. Yeah? Yes. Perfect. Okay, so um, we have a new vocabulary. It's also related to ICT. Freelancer, share the pie, CIO, not CEO, but CIO, and algorithms. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna um, divide you guys into groups and you're only gonna be responsible for one, not all four, but just one of the um of the, uh, of the vocabulary words, and you're going to identify what the, what it is. And remember, I, I want you guys to try not to do definitions from the internet, okay? But try to explain it in your own words and give an example, right? So give an, a, an example of how you use that in the everyday life, okay? Um, and the idea is that then after, after I'm going to give you guys about um, 10 minutes. After 10 minutes, I'm going to mix you guys up again so that we have um, somebody from each group to be able to explain the concepts. So that's that means that everybody in the group has to understand the concept for all because you're going to be explaining that to the next group. Okay, sounds good, guys. You're just responsible for one, one word, that's it. But you have to explain it well, okay? Okay, teacher. Oh, and um, chicos, eh, let me just make sure everybody's here. Um, Harvin, Jose Wilfredo, Jose Marcos, Heidi, Fernando Marvin, Francisco Eduardo, Wendy, I can't see you guys, so. If you guys can turn on your cameras to make sure that you are there. Uh, Harvin, are you there? Ah, there it is. Okay. Fernando Marvin, are you there? I'm here, teacher. Sorry. Okay, no problem. Just want to make sure. Uh, Wendy, are you there? Wendy, Roxana. Okay, so I guess they're not. Okay. Um. By the way, guys, I need you guys to do me a big favor. Everybody, I need everybody to do me this favor. Um. While we are going into the groups, can you also do me the favor of going into the platform? and checking those two exercises that we were having problems with, which if I'm not mistaken is exercise 3.5, exercise three, and the final exam, part two, exercise three. So if you can guys check those two, I wanna just make sure I have a consensus from everybody that um, if, if if it if it is working or not um so just make sure if you can and then when we come back to to the main session i can i can get the information from everybody okay okay so i'm going to open up the groups right about now
CIO, right? CIO. Yes. Ah, okay. CIO. CIO. CEO is, <laughs> yeah, that is the other one. Okay, she, CIO, Chief Information Officer. Mm -hmm. Responsible for the system, the technologies, the information technology she, in the enterprise. Could be the one in charge for all the IT department in a company? Maybe the head, the head, yes, of the department. General. Mm, okay. So it's, it would be, I guess it's in the same line that CEO, right? Mm, it's a different share in, in a company. Exactly, but it's in the same line, horizontal in power, I mean. The no, 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 no. CEO is, is at the top. CEO ah, okay. is the top, the president is the, the, maxim, the maximum responsible of the company. And the CIO is the one in charge just for the... Uh, the IT, maybe. Hey guys, do you have any problems, any questions that you want to ask? Mm, about the about the the work that you wrote or about the everything. Mm, yeah, it's with the platform. I don't know it, with one of the exercises. Mm -hmm. and the part part mm, 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 mm. in the unit four and mm -hmm. section four, the first um exercise. That is re rewrite each sentence, adding so to emphasize the adjective or adverb. So the first one said, you seen that camera is easy. I understand that I have to rewrite that sentence, adding so. For me is you seen that camera is so easy. Sir, what, this is a section what? This is section four, number what? 4.1. 4.1, okay. Mm -hmm. Um, give me a moment. And this is number, number one? Number one, the example said, uh, the, the sentence said, you seen that camera is easy for me, yeah, uh, rewriting mm -hmm. the sentence is using that, that using uh, is that camera, using that camera is so easy. Yeah. But the for the platform, my answer is wrong. Eliminate the, the period. The period? Oh, yep. Yeah. The second one is why is she so tidy? Actually, so, I'll, I'll give you a, I'll give you a little hint. All of them do not have a period. Ah, uh, that's why. Except for the ones that have question marks. Except. 
If it has a question mark, then other than that, all of them do not have a period. Okay, so that's, yeah, that should solve your problem. Okay. All right, guys, um, any other questions about your, your, you're the freelancers, right? You guys understand freelance? Yeah, I understand that is when someone works like individually, for example, um, like um, these people that, that are, uh, how they call these people, um, like these people that work in art, for example, in any brand, for example, Coca-Cola said to, to uh, this person, uh, we want to work with you, but we want to, we want that you create for us um, illustrations, for example. I follow a girl in Instagram that she, she make illustrations and brands, a contact her to make camp campaigns, for example. And she said that she's a freelancer, she, but because she works for brands and the, the brands paid her for that work. Mm -hmm. But she doesn't work for a company. She's completely independent mm -hmm. and work just for herself. And, and yeah. I understand that that's a freelancer. Yeah, you are right, yeah, yes. Uh, Juan Miguel, Harvin, are you, do you agree with Ileana? Yes. 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 Yeah? Okay. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you, you look tired, Harvin. Yes, I am tired, teacher. Mm. Did you have a hard day at work? Yes. Oh, sorry to hear that. Yeah. And how was your weekend? Oh, was busy because I have to do some activities on Saturday in the morning. In the afternoon, I have to go to the university. Mm -hmm. And Sunday, I have to go to do some exam to the university. Mm -hmm. I was, I have a, a, a busy weekend too. Mm -hmm. And I have to do homework. <laughs> yeah, I get it. I get it. Okay. Are you guys ready then to to uh, work with your new group? Yeah, teacher. Teacher, just one question. Mm -hmm. In the platform, the in section four, the also the the activity four point five and the four point seven is the same. It's the same. It's just the same exercises, the same. Are you asking me? Yeah. Well, I'm, I'm telling you, but I don't know if that's, yeah, that that's right. Uh, I believe so. Um, give me the exercises again. The 4.5 is the same that the point, the 4.9. It's just the same. I... I already oh, did uh, the, the exercises, but they are the same. Okay, so you said 4.5 is the same as which one? 4.9. 4.9. Mm. Let me just find out for you. Yeah, apparently. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So it's just bonus. Okay. Okay. And teacher, I have another question. Mm -hmm. uh, the um, exercise three in the section three, the three point, uh, three point, 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 five, I think that actually we work with this. We, we did the, this exercise in the class, mm -hmm. um, the 3.5, yeah. 
Uh, the number three, the, the office supply retailer Staplos said hackers had broken into the company's network and compromised the information of about 1.60 million credit cards. That's incorrect. But I wrote the, the answer that we made in the, in the class the day, but it's also wrong, so that is wrong that we change uh, the part into the companies, companies with- What, what number is that? The, the exercise in the section three, the exercise, uh -huh. exercise 3.5. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Exercise three and 3.5. Mm -hmm. The number okay. three. Yeah, that, that's, that, what, that was exactly what I was asking you guys to do, to check that one for me. Yeah, but still is, wrong with with that okay yeah okay i just wanted to confirm that because okay. uh because i already reported it and they tell me that from their end it looks like it's correct um but i i told them i i get the same wrong answer and i just wanted to confirm that the class was also getting the wrong answer yeah okay so i will yeah i'll let them know Okay. okay, so we'll see you guys in the main room in a moment. Okay, teacher. We, we need to define the variable because variable could be integer, so it could be real. Integer is not decimal, have not decimal. We really have a decimal. Define the variables. Mm -hmm. Guys, I'm sorry to interrupt. Just wanted to make sure. Um, I wanted to know if, um, if you guys are finished. Yes, teacher. Yeah, you're finished? Yes. We are in, in programming classes now. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we are finished. Okay, okay. Good, good, good. All right. Perfect. In that case, I'll see you in a moment. Okay. The, the more simple example. Yes. Uh, hello. Oh, hello. Sorry. Sorry. I'm are are you guys ready? Almost, teacher. Almost? Yep, almost. Yes, mm -hmm. we are discuss the last one. Okay. What what do you mean the last one? Uh share a pie. Uh yeah, that's the only one you had to you had to do. Uh, we all have to discuss just one word of yeah. the four. Yeah, just one. Oh, Wow. The one, uh, do you see on the top of your screen? I saw no. now. At the at the top of your screen, it says the topic of your group. Just uh, sure the corporative in this case. No. Oh, I found it because uh -huh. I have a, a full screen. Oh. Well, I, I make a double right it right now. <laughs> yeah, that's that's the one you have to explain. Just share the pie. <laughs> okay, teacher. That's a third. Don't worry. I found some fun information here. Okay, okay. And I will share it with uh, the group. Okay. All right. Okay. Okay. Share guys. the pie. So, share the pie only. This is the the meaning. So now we have to. Okay. So, hey guys. So read and then <laughs> and, and, we could and share with the iPhone. With the share the pie. Okay. A portion of a particular amount of money. Uh, I found uh, a, a definition um, say it. Uh, is a uh, idiom mainly used uh, in UK and refers to the part of the profit or benefit from something. 
or part of the amount of something that is available? Yeah. Get benefit of but something. But I, I don't, for something. Oh, but that's, that mean like it's land. What a piece of shit a pie is, uh, what is a piece of pie? Is land idiom, informal, I shut up of something. When the business start making money, everyone and his family want a piece of pie. That, that's what you say? Uh, I don't know if uh, the, the, the phrase refer to a, 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 a specific um, uh, something specific in the in the IT information. I don't know. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's right. Because this the, the this this meaning or the definition is is a uh, general, right? Mm -hmm. Show that the, that definition in the in the chat, please. Okay. In simple words, star. star. Are you guys this finished? Still the problem. Yes, teacher, we are uh, okay. in the platform and the mistake is still. Yeah, okay. And you you did, you, you already, uh, you already identified um, the the 